And joining me now is David Mullins, Rich Mullins' younger brother. Welcome, David. Hi, how are you? Doing well. Thank you for your time today. How close to true is this movie about Rich's life, his struggles, and his ministry? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, it's pretty close. It's pretty accurate, I think. Um, it's it's a perspective. One of the challenges that, that uh, you face in this kind of deal is the movie covers about 35 years of life. Uh, and so, you know, you kind of pick this is a story that we want to tell from it. And um, this is the one that David pitched. And, and uh, so I, I think it's it's pretty accurate. Uh, that would also depend on who you talk to. So um, but I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Well, Rich never made any pretense of being a perfect Christian, and the movie clearly shows his struggles and wrestling with sin and God. How does this movie communicate how God's love helped Rich through all that? Well, I, um, for me, I think it, the movie is a picture of uh, what Paul has to say in Philippians 1, uh, verse 6, where he says, being confident that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And I think the movie is a picture of, of God's work in his life. Um, now, the thing about it is it's not as neat as we would like it to be. Um, you know, I think a lot of times as I look at my own life, I, I believe that that's what God is doing. And yet, yet it's not as neat and tidy as I, I think a lot of times we like it in the church. Um, I think sometimes our brokenness and healing are, are, are intermingled uh, more than then you're broken, then you meet Jesus, and then you're healed, and everything is wonderful from that point on, and you don't have any more struggles. So uh, that, that's how I see it anyway. Well, how do you think his story is going to help others who find themselves also struggling? Well, I think I, I think the movie points to the overwhelming love of God. And uh, for instance, there was uh, we got an email from uh, a 50-year-old woman who had given her life to Christ as a, as a young person, uh, had been living faithfully uh, throughout her life. Um, and then, but she said she'd always struggled with with feeling like God really loved her. And she went and saw the movie. And for her, she said she went home, went to bed, and she woke up the next morning and said she felt like for the first time she had experienced the love of God. Uh, and so, um, you know, our hope is as, as you look at, at at somebody's life that loved God and yet struggled, uh, and, and clearly God used and loved, um, that, 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 that will spark that sense of the love of God for them. Yeah. And his grace as well. Well, yeah. for many, for many understanding God as our father or Abba is difficult because of our own father's imperfect love. And this movie deals directly with Rich's quote, father wound. And how did Rich come to terms with his own hurt and view of God's love in his life? Uh, you know, I think it's a, it was an ongoing thing. Uh, I, I think it's, it's one of those, uh, I think it was one of those things for him, like it is for, I think an awful lot of us that, that there's a, a, a recognition mentally and, and then, okay, wait, how does it take root, uh, in, in all of life? And, and you begin to experience it more and then it kind of comes and goes and it hits in waves. Uh, and I think I think when you look at his life, I, I think that 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 was the case. Um, uh, but there was always that deeper pursuit of it, and so um, yeah, I don't know if that if that makes uh, a great deal of sense in answering the question, but uh, I hope it does. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. Well, it's been nearly twenty years since he passed away, and for a generation who may not be familiar with him or his music, what do you think he would say to young Christian artists today? Um, well, I think he would say be real, uh, one, uh, be genuine. Um, but the other thing, uh, I, I heard him say a, a number of times, uh, to people who would, you know, aspire to be in the Christian music business and have a contract and, you know, do all of, all of that. When I heard him say a lot of times, you know what, if, if God has called you to sing, then sing. If it's one person, if no one will listen, sing. And if God wants you to, to be a, a star, he'll make that happen. 